Uh, good morning, guys. Good morning, everyone. So, in the previous session, I explained like what are the hardware and software requirements for Loader 2022. And I asked you, I shared this document with you, installation document. And I asked you to update, do the Windows update, right? And be ready for Loader installation, right? So, I hope everyone uh, did that and ready for Loader installation. Right, guys? So, do, if not, you know, if someone missed to do Windows update, please start it now, right? So how do you do Windows update, guys? If you are using, you know, Windows 10 or 11, right? So in the search bar, Windows search bar, type Windows update, right? And uh, check, check uh, select this option, check for updates, right? And you will see here, like, if there are any pending updates, it will be shown here. So please click on install button, right? which I have already shown yesterday and I asked you to complete that and restart the machine and be ready. Once you do that Windows update, right? So it will, it may prompt for a restart, restart of the machine, isn't it? So do that Windows update on your laptop or desktop, restart machine before installing, before starting load on installation, right? And one more re prerequisite is you should have at least 50 GB of free disk space in your C drive. If you don't have 50 GB of free, free disk space in your C drive, Better to install Loadner in some other drive, B drive or E drive if you have. Clear, guys? Now, once you do that, like I shared the Loadner software to you, Loadner 2022. This is the latest version of Loadner. I shared it to your email address, right? So now I will, uh, uh, I'll have, uh, Sravan, you can share your screen now. I'll stop my screen share. No. Yeah. Can you please give me control seven? Can you please give me control of your machine? Yeah, I got it. Wait. Okay. So now you can see this is the software and uh, this is the load runner community edition. If you observe here, micro focus load runner 2022 community edition. And the size of the file is 1.63 GB, right? 1.63 GB is the size of this file. The reason why it is the file size is high is you will get all the three components installed on your machine with this single file. All the three components, when I say three components, VUGEN, controller, and analysis components will be installed when you install this, right? So before starting installation, let me check the Windows update, okay? Right, so you can see that it is up to date. This uh, particular uh, no machine is up to date, right? Now, once you, I shared the step-by-step -step navigation with screenshots also. Anyways, let me record it. And once you did that, right? Once you did the Windows update, like and restarted the machine. Now, let me start this load on installation, load on installation with this exe file, right? So before that, let me check uh, the free space in the C drive. That is another important thing, right? Here you can see 240 GB free space is available out of 291 GB. So we have more than 250, more than 50 GB of free disk space. And uh, there are certain software requirements also, right? There are certain software requirements to install load on right? You should have Windows 8 or higher. Windows 8 or 10 or 11, isn't it? Right? So it Windows 7 doesn't support this, you know, uh, this load software 2020 or 2021 can't be installed on Windows 7. Okay. So the operating system, there, is, there are certain software requirements also. And 8 GB of RAM is required, right? So let me check that. How can you know? Let me record it, how to check that. So you can simply go to the task manager and go to performance staff for that. Seven, can you please click on performance staff? Right. So you have four GB only seven. So, so maybe very slow seven. Okay. So you have four GB only four GB RAM out of which 3.1 is already is in use. Click on the CPU. CPU is I3 fourth generation. Can someone else share your screen, please? I'll start the installation. It will be slow. Anyways, right. Close the task manager, please. 
yeah. and go to the downloads folder uh, i think you got a prompt already wait wait you got a prompt already that installation see i think it was clicked twice okay now hold on hold on okay so i'll start this and can some can someone else share your screen guys so it is extracting that file right and you can see the progress here in recording yeah now observe here what is it saying the following prerequisite programs must be installed before you can install micro focus load runner right i am reading it here guys see here the following prerequisite programs must all, must all be installed before you can install micro focus load runner right so so if you did not do windows update right so it will ask for you know it will show all those updates whatever required for here whatever required to install load runner right those will be shown here okay if you miss it to do the windows update okay now what what does it say it is installing network virtualization request disabling the windows smart screen so just click okay and observe here click okay to begin installing these programs now if there are any so required prerequisite software right it will if you click okay now it will click, it will this you know automatically those softwares will be installed yeah click okay however as we did windows update already right so it will uh, so it is not showing any other uh, you know prerequisites understood guys sir installed no, sir yeah click next uh, sarath so oh, it's already installed hello yes sir it is right right yeah. click on that i accept the terms in the license agreement hmm. now install silk performer agent not required not required yeah click next yes click next so before that it is installing in c drive check the space in your c drive Oh, okay close this you can close this yeah close this window yeah click install please click install yes yeah this is the only window where you need to do some selection guys okay so here what you have to do is once you are on this window you need to uncheck that first check box specify a certificate that will be used by uh, this one uh, let me highlight that you need to uncheck that first check box and click next that's it yeah please try and do it now uncheck that check box now what happens now sir uncheck that check box and click next okay yes. finish click finish that's it you can use any browser click okay just click okay chrome is selected just click okay so and yes, remember yes. that this is you know save save this bookmark this file okay please bookmark this file right so this is readme file lrp readme means a load runner professional okay and what is readme file is like it will this particular page will tell you what is new in this version you see some links over here right one second can you give me control once can you give me your system control once yeah so observe here you so there are certain links over here right so there is lot of useful information over here what is new means what are the new features in this version in this 2022 version so all this information is there in this uh, in this particular file support matrix load on a professional installation guide right known issues what are the known issues and all this deprecated features and technologies and all this right so bookmark this file so that you know you can if if in case in future if you require any information we can follow this readme file clear so this page explains you what is new in this load on a professional 2022 version so maybe these Uh, this topic introduces new features and improvements in version 2022 
it supports kafka protocol dev web there are certain changes that are you know uh, that are brought in in this new version okay right now once you install this right go to desktop 7 sir type windows d on your keyboard and to go to the desktop right see here wait wait one second so see here this release introduces one second there is some notes here let me highlight this this release introduces the new kafka protocol used to emulate apache kafka events kafka communications are particularly useful when working with microservices right so you understood right what is load runner but this readme file what does this readme file contain yes, sir it will and show all more, the things right what are the new features introduced with this version and all that will be mentioned in the readme file one more important change is this one gremlin uh, chaos testing with gremlin right this is one more important one and these are already there dev web protocol true client protocol are already supported in the previous version maybe they have brought some new features in that right so this is about readme file so you need to bookmark this better to bookmark this and uh, always you can go to the installation folder and you can read this also anytime okay so now once you are done with this installation right so let me clear this annotation right so one second so if you double click and launch that view gen right virtual user generator Sir, which app you are using for annotation, sir? What is that? Uh, I mean, how do you are doing annotation? Selecting all the highlighting. Zoom meeting. That is part of Zoom meeting, sir. Ah, okay. I am using a licensed version of Zoom meeting. 